guys, it's Reagan, and I'm coming at you from a very dark and gloomy day at NYC to do a bit of a cleansing type of video. I am gonna be doing a very large book unhaul today. I don't know, going into the new year, kind of reflecting on my bookshelves, it made me realize that I need to make some space for whatever's gonna come in 2019. I don't particularly love to get rid of books, but I feel like I've gotten pretty good at it with all the moving I've had to do in the past couple of years. That being said, I have quite a large stack of books I am going to be donating and I figured I would go through them with you today. Per usual, I'm apologizing for any type of construction noises you guys hear. It's either I don't film in the daylight, which is rather limited today, or I have to deal with construction noises because they're building something right across the street from me, such as New York City such as life. But anyway, without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right in. The first set of books are kind of very easy ones to get rid of because they are duplicates, meaning I own two copies of them. And honestly, it is very unnecessary that I own two copies of books, especially because I live in a small New York apartment. As much as I want to hold on to everything, it doesn't make sense. So let's run through this stack of books first. First, I have Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Wine. I have the matching paperback edition for this as well that matches the first book in the series, which I also own in paperback. So I thought it was only reasonable to get rid of my duplicate hardback. Next up, I have Vicious by B.E. Schwab. This one's a little sad to get rid of just because I've owned this copy for so long, but I do now have the new paperback release that matches the re-release cover of the second book. They coordinate much better than this one in the sequel. So because of that, I've decided to hold on to the newer paperback release versus this guy, even though I've owned it for so long. Like, like before I was even in college or maybe like I was a freshman in college. So wild. I have Spinning Silver by Naomi Novak, which I love, but own this beautiful UK edition of the same book. So again, seems unreasonable to own both, especially because I love this one so, 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 so much more. But this is nice too. But again, I don't need both copies. Next up, I have To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is the Netflix movie edition paperback, which I own the hardback version of this, which is signed by Jenny. So I don't feel like I need to have this paperback edition while it is so cute and I love everything about this movie. I just can't justify keeping both as much as I really freaking think this is adorable and I love it. But I think someone else who doesn't own it would appreciate it more than me. And then lastly, I have Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson in this amazing UK edition. I recently rebought this book in the UK edition in a smaller size that matches all of my UK Brandon Sanderson paperbacks. This book actually always drove me a little like insane because it is so much taller than all the other ones. Everyone else stops like right about here. And then there was just this one that just was so much taller than all the other books. And it just absolutely drove me bonkers. So I replaced it and I'm going to donate this version, this tall, 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 tall version. Next up are a couple books that I read this year that I just didn't love and due to that I just feel like I should not hold on to. One of them is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. This is a book that honestly just did not wow me very much when I read it earlier this year. It was like 2.75 three star read for me. Found it entertaining. I obviously love Victoria Schwab, but I just didn't love this book that much. So because of that, I'm going to pass it along. I'm also going to be donating A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. This is a book I have given two times now. <laughs> and I just don't really foresee myself continuing on with this book or the rest of the series. So for the same reason, I am going to donate it. Then I have An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. I ended up actually DNFing this book. So I just think it would be best to pass it along. Then I have Emma the Night by um, Wendy Walker, which is a book I picked up from Book of the Month. I have this problem sometimes with Book of the Month that I just get so excited that I just want to buy everything from them. I just love their service so much. I love the whole concept of like picking books out every month. It just really appeals to me. So because of this, I do find myself getting into a pickle every once in a while when I just buy books. I know I'm probably never going to read, but I just bought them because I thought it was so fun in the moment. That's kind of how I feel about Emma and the Night. This is like a dark thriller, like family thriller, um, like murder mystery. And it's kind of like a traditional setup. And I just don't read a lot of traditional thrillers and I just am going to donate this because I feel like there are people out there who would really love to read this. And not me, the scaredy cat who can barely watch like crime documentaries. <laughs> Next up, I have Witchborn by Mc Nicholas Bowling. This is a to be determined. I need to read more reviews of this book before I pass it along. This was an unsolicited like 
mailer. I just kind of got this one day, it just arrived into my life. Um, I've had it for a few months now and I've just never really had the itch to pick it up. But I think I'll give it a few more reviews before I decide to donate it. But I do love witches and dark fantasy. I just don't know if this particular story appeals to me that much and if it is kind of like a middling reviewing, I might just pass it along. Next up I have Song of the Current by Sarah Tolster. This is just a book I've owned for so long and just honestly forget I own it every single time. Every time I do a book on a haul, I find this book and I'm like, oh, I should hold on to that. I'm sure I'll pick it up. At this point, it's been years and years and years. I've just never even thought about picking this book up. And because I'm trying to be a little harder on myself and make space for books that really truly excite me and like I want to pick them up right away, I am gonna clear off this book just because it just hasn't been speaking to me. It hasn't been speaking to me and if one day I decide I really do want to read it, I'll pick it up again. Not the end of the world, but for now I'm going to pass it along because I just... I've just like, I've never, I just keep forgetting about it and it's just, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Next up I have The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken, which is a book I have read. This is the movie edition. They're fun to collect, but I do prefer the original covers to these more than the movie tie-in, though I do like that they include images from the movie itself in here. I think that's pretty cool. Hold on, I'll show you a sneak peek. Boom, but yeah. I'm gonna donate this to a soul who would be excited to have this in their lives. Next up I have The Dark Beneath the Ice and I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I have no idea when I acquired this book, particularly because it sounds terrifying. Knock, 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 this is mine. And it's about people like, like vanishing and dying and it sounds really, really scary and a ghost story. I don't particularly love really scary books. So then I'm gonna pass this along um, to someone who likes horror and mystery in that way. I just, this book, like the cover even scares me. There's a girl like hovering off the ground like she's possessed. It's just not gonna happen. My scared soul just can't handle this. I can handle some murder mystery, like truly devious and stuff like this, but this looks like straight horror. And I cannot do that. And the last book I'm going to unhaul is The Book Shop of Yesterday by Amy Mayerson. This is a book I'm actually gonna give to my mom because I think my mom would love this book. So it only felt right to pass it on to hands that, you know, I just feel like we'll read it right away. And she can honestly tell me if it's really good and worthwhile and maybe I'll take it back from her. It's kind of how things work sometimes. This is a contemporary fiction novel about a woman who inherits a bookshop from her estranged and peculiar uncle and she basically begins to uncover like mysteries about him that kind of put their lives together in unexpected ways. I do love books set in bookshops, but again, this just is another book that I just keep forgetting I own and I haven't really thought about picking it up. And my mom did notice it last time she was in town saying like, oh, that looks interesting and she'd like to have it. So I'm gonna bring it with me when I visit her for the holidays and I'm gonna pass it along to her and then maybe she can give me the skinny on how she feels about it and perhaps I will take it back. But I just feel like my mom would appreciate it much more than myself. Alrighty guys, those are the books I plan on unhauling before the end of this year. Hopefully I'll get a few more books off my shelf but deciding on those ones took me a couple of hours so I think I need a little bit more time before I have to get rid of more things. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!